What's up YouTube? This is Daniel Pomerantz with Low Code Operational Intelligence. Today we're going to be walking through some tips and tricks that I find useful and helpful for building smarter Tulip applications faster and easier. First trick I like to remind people is that all images can be copied to your clipboard and pasted right into a Tulip app. So anytime you have an image copied, if you're on the Tulip app, you hit Command or Control V and that image will appear in your app. This works really nice if you have uh, screen capture software. So if, for example, I capture this, uh, I have the software set up to automatically go to my clipboard and I can very easily paste and use this image. Another nice trick that you might not know about on this left side pane, if you want to find out a little bit more about these tables, um, let's look at our request tables. You can click this view button and see a list of the columns. You can also go to table. Now this is going to open in a new tab, but if you right click open link in new tab from your tulip app, you were able to quickly get to the table that is being used in the app. So make sure to use these links on the left side. It also is going to work for queries. So if I do the same thing, I can open a new link and be brought directly to a query that my Tulip app is using. Another great trick to have in your back pocket, when you open a Tulip table to look at the data in the admin area, uh, it's default sorted from oldest to newest. So this first row is the oldest data point in this table. But you can very quickly turn on the metadata fields and then sort from newest to oldest on either date created or maybe date updated. And now these records that are first are going to be the newest records. If you're ever making steps that you don't want to use your base layout, you can quickly remove everything from the base layout. If you go in the top right, click this cog and hit remove all base layout widgets. Boom, now you've got an app step that you can customize however you need, maybe copying just a few elements from the base layout. Really nice thing that you might not notice, any step in a Tulip app, you can add notes. So it's always very good to comment and explain what you're doing. Um, in this bottom right corner from the step pane, you can add notes that will permanently live on this step. Similar to taking notes on your steps, it can be very helpful to put comments in your trigger logic. Right now, the best way to do this in Tulip is to store a uh, either an expression or a static value that just says, this is my note. And you can put that into a variable that you know you're not going to use. So if I just say notes, right? So this variable is not doing anything, but it, this trigger logic now has the ability to document what is going on in here. Um, you can bring this down and continue to add to that notes variable just so that someone who opens up your app in the future can understand what's going on. This is a cool recent feature. I'm not sure how recently it came out, but anytime you have an interactive table widget in Tulip, you can actually now turn on this enable export to CSV button. And when you test and go to this step. So if I go to the view test data step, you can now export the CSV as well as if you filter this table and you hit export, it will output a subselected CSV of what the interactive table is showing right now. Remember to take advantage of Tulip's alignment tools. So if I have a button and maybe I know that I need to build an interface with uh, you know, four buttons. You can spread these out with just a rough estimate. And then if you select all of them by either control clicking or clicking to drag, you can use these distribute buttons on the right and distribute them horizontally and then align them ver vertically just to make sure that they're all on the same page. And now you have four buttons. A little bit easier to space things out that way. Next trick. Remember that if you click these three dots up here, you can access the Tulip App Editor keyboard shortcuts. Um, there's a long list here. Um, really good to take advantage of these to help you go faster when you're building apps. A few that I really use a lot are um, Control D, 
which is going to duplicate the current step that you're working on. Control backspace is going to delete the current step. Um, if you are zoomed out or panned, a really nice one is Control Shift Z, which will reset your editor back to the default spacing. Last one's a bit of a weird one, but it gets really useful once you get used to it. Um, I'm someone who likes to keep things clean looking and organized, and in Tulip it's very difficult to get consistent margins that you know how easily or how spaced out things are. Obviously you can center things, but I don't know how wide this margin is. What I like to do, I line things up, and a really nice shortcut in Tulip to get used to, if you hold shift and then use either arrow key or any of the four arrow keys, it will move this element 10 pixels. And that's really nice because I now know that I've moved this element uh, right now 20 pixels, but if I go two more, I can drag it back and move this element to the center. And now I know that I have exactly 20 pixels of margin on both sides of this header. Thanks so much for watching everybody. I hope this makes you a faster and more efficient Tulip app builder. I'm looking forward to seeing any other tricks that others use and in the future making perhaps more advanced videos of a similar style. So take care and I'll talk to you guys later.